Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, January 6th of 2017. And uh, wanted to show you this, which I've been watching it on. You can watch it on uh, Roku TV. You can watch it on... Uh, website where you can watch the they have a camera on the International Space Station and you're actually this is not recorded this is live so you're actually seeing there's a camera aimed down and you get to see and it makes a great uh, screensaver or whatever so uh, so down here in the the middle this is the track of it where you can see where it is. Look like it's going to be coming up. Is it Australia? I'm not sure. But you can, that's what I was going to show you. And I'll put the links down. I'll put several links down. Then my purpose was to uh, show you this. I'm going to stop that because uh, then I. I checked CNN just now, and there's this shooting they had in Fort Lauderdale, and so then I gave me the idea, and I, I think I showed you this before, but there are apps, but you can also, there's uh, radio, uh, used, to be, used to be radioreference.com, but now I think it's broadcastivity. Dot com. I'll put the links, but you're hearing, let's see, They've, they have the subject in custody. That's not it. I think the police dog bit somebody and I don't think it was the bad guy. So, uh, you can go, now I, I'm a paid, uh, I've been paying every year for years, but you don't have to pay. Did you get anybody to go to the Spirit break room reference to call that you put out a few months ago? Anyone in the area then? 3 one of the 330 reference desk. I was not able to gain entry into the break room, however I spoke with the customs officer. Five minutes prior to receiving the call, he advised that he was in there clearing everybody out, so most likely that was them uh, clearing the room out. Therefore, that's in a different terminal, right? They're trying to clear. That Apparently, the suspect's in custody. I've killed the audio on it, so you can hear me and not... I can't do two things at once. Maybe you can, but... I'll put the links... But there are also apps I know on the Android phone, and more than one, but I've only, I have the, uh, the one where I'm a paid subscriber, let's see, and it is, yeah, it shows up as broadcastivity, oops, I can't see, where am I, let's see. See down there at the bottom on uh, broadcastivity. So that's what it shows up. But, but I'm not sure. Maybe if uh, uh, maybe that shows up because I'm a paid subscriber. But I it's radioreference.com. I'll have to check out. I'll put the links below. But 
let's see if I have the but on your your cell phone you can also have the view from space but what I wanted to tell you about let's see I'm going to no I can't So anyway, uh, I want to see where to kill this. That's not it. Here it is. There are uh, 25,000 people listening to this right now. And I'm going to turn that off. So what you would do is uh, come to the link that you'll find below and let me see if I can show you what the home screen looks like here. Nope, that's not the home screen. That That's the home screen for that's not what we wanted to see. see if it shows up this time. I think we're getting there. Okay, well this is, when you go to reference.com, this is what what you see. Now, keep in mind, I'm a paid member, so it might look a little different to me. But you come here and you can uh, click live audio. Now if you click live audio, then you can do a search. Let's say you're in Texas. Then you could search by the city uh, here's counties if you know so we're in Fort let's see there's Dallas there's Tarrant County that I'm in and then there'll be a list of what you can hear in a Tarrant County area now the police department in Fort Worth and the fire department or whatever they have their things coded so you're not going to be able to pick up you know pick up those uh, you, know, you can click on aviation and you can come up also if you have a scanner you can find the frequencies will be listed but let's say that you're at home or more we could do it with your cell phone or something say something happens a shooting someplace or it's big news you go to CNN and they have a headline or whatever uh, what you can do is you can uh, go to the you know the, if it's let's say Los Angeles then you can go to California go to Los Angeles you know <clears throat> but most of the time what you can do if something happens is just go to top feeds and here you see because of this shooting in Boward County, Florida, you'll see that there are, that's the top one right now. There are 26,000 people listening. And then the, under that, there's 5,500 people listening to the fire channel, fire and rescue channel. And then the next top channel, which it, if there's nothing going on, it's usually Chicago. And right now there's 591 people listening to Chicago. And then you'll see like number three here is Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue. That has to do with, and then 178 people are listening to the Fort Lauderdale Amateur Radio Repeater. So there's, I don't think there's any activity that, uh, some people just might see Fort Lauderdale and not know. So let's just click on, let's go to the, amp frequency oh, okay what's well, listed is ham radio but uh, it says dispatch for uh, 
tactical radio for Fort Lauderdale and fire rescue. So I, I don't know if that's incorrect or not, but apparently not. Now, that's an interesting, the reason, uh, it used to be you could pick up all the police and fire, uh, most all of the police and fire uh, traffic uh, because of the, there, there has always been concern with keeping patient health information private. And they didn't pay too much attention until, and there was, until the HIP laws or regulations went into effect. And then now they're, they're crazy on the subject of confidentiality. And so I, I think that's why a lot of the fire and rescue channels are, have gone coded. Because uh, if you listen to a EMS or a fire channel, you know, when they dispatch an ambulance and a fire truck or something, it'll be, they'll give an address, and sometimes it's a home address, and that may say, you know, uh, drug overdose, or it may say, uh, uh, say drug overdose could be mental patient, something like that. And I've, I've mentioned this before, so it is good that they're trying to keep that information out because you know people. I've mentioned before that I I do not think that nine one one that the news media or public should have access to nine one one calls. Uh, now, if there's if some people call nine one one and say they need an ambulance and the and the ambulance doesn't respond or the dispatcher hangs up on them or something like that. And if they file a complaint and then the news media uh, request access to the information for that reason or whatever, then you would have to, I think you should have, yeah, because it wouldn't be right to, you know, somebody says, hey, you know, the 911 dispatcher didn't handle the call right and grandma died because of it or something happened uh, yeah somebody the public <coughs> somehow <coughs> should get ac be able to get access the news media but if uh, some movie star in Hollywood uh, if they call 911 and and say you know uh, we need an ambulance uh, uh, I can't think of a movie star. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, it's, you know, Marilyn Monroe is she's passed out and needs uh, an ambulance or what? I don't think that I don't think any of that nine one one information should be given to. You shouldn't be able to go to TMZ dot com and hear nine one one calls. Uh, or whatever, but but you do need to have uh, access if something comes up, if there's somebody calls, if somebody says they called for help and the 911 dispatcher hung up on them or whatever, then that information should be something you could get without having to wait till there's a, a lawsuit in court or something. 
So anyway, I'll put the links to this uh, to this site. I mean, I'm going to refresh this. Multiple people killed at the. I wonder if five dead chaos at airport. Fort Lauderdale airport gunman in custody. Uh, see what we can pull up here. See. Gunfire erupted at Fort Lauderdale airport on Friday, leaving multiple people dead. Authorities, authorities say the gunman, who appeared to be acting alone, is in custody. Coming in uh, right now from a Broward County Sheriff okay. uh, who just tweeted this uh, confirmed. I hate that. I mentioned that in a video just the other day that when I go to CNN, if I want to watch video, I'll uh, pick video. But you go there and their video starts. Let's see. Five people are dead. Thirteen people were transported to hospitals. I'm just curious as to, I guess, well, you're always curious as to what the, <clears throat> what the reason. Investigators are looking into the motive. Um, haven't released the name. Occurred in the baggage area. In the baggage claim area. Well, somebody didn't get his... Somebody didn't get his luggage uh, on time or something. Don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, I'll put the links below. And when something like this happens, unfortunately, in the future, you can go to radioreference.com or go to broadcastivity.com. Probably the best, easiest thing would just be to put the app. Now, I know, like for Android, there are a number of ones that say police scanner or radio or whatever, but and I haven't checked the others, but I'm sure that this uh, broadcastivity is the one you're going to want to put on, and it is free. And uh, but you can pay, and if you pay, it it's not, it's if you pay, then it it remembers the your favorites and uh, does a few things like that. So you don't have to pay, but I would, if there's not, if, it, if an I, if an app is good, oops, that's something you might, a queen was once nearly shot by a guard. That's on the <laughs> screen here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I mean, I get all those links down there immediately. It might take me a while to look them up, and I'm, I'm tired. I might take a nap. And it's even, Fort Worth, it's even snowing outside a little bit. 